here we go with episode 400. Releasing this episode will also be a uh, video essay about something. I'm not sure what it's going to be about. Something involved with the lore. Probably, I'm thinking right now, the geography. I may want to do a deep dive into geography. Like, does it make sense? What has been established so far, 400 episodes in? What do we know? What can we speculate? Etc. Right? That's probably what I'm going to do. So hopefully I remember to do that. <laughs> I'll probably do it this weekend. I'm not going to wait. Like last time I waited until I was at episode 395 or something. And then I said, oh yeah, I need to do 350. I won't wait that long this time. But speaking of that 350 video, you know, I talked about Journey to the West. The ending of it, like I said, was they get scripture, they get knowledge, and they bring it back. Because it's a religious story, right? So that was the whole point. Well... This isn't a religious story, but I think maybe the One Piece is knowledge. What is the One Piece, right? Like, that's what we're all asking. Apparently, it still not, has not been answered in the manga. I better stay off Twitter for about a week when it is uh, answered in the manga so I don't get spoiled. Because then again, it'd, be, it'd probably be like, it'd be One Piece, Luffy, Silver Raleigh, Gold Roger, and then it'll be some phrase that, like, uh, knowledge of all humanity or something, you know? And I'll just have to pretend I don't, I don't associate all those things together, and that's what the One Piece is. But I wonder, is that what the One Piece is? Is it knowledge? I think probably so, because here's the thing. He starts this story. He's like, okay, I'm going to write a manga. So what does he do? He creates a drawing. I've been told he creates a drawing of the final crew. Here's what the crew is going to look like when everybody's assembled. And for the most part, he stuck to it. The skeleton guy was there from the very beginning. There's a couple people that are in that drawing that never showed up. So he changed his mind about a couple people. Most of the people in the drawing have showed up. So, so he knew what the crew was going to be. He had a pretty good idea of the world and the way the world was set up. It probably had some rudimentary maps uh, drawn and stuff. Uh, he had an idea of the politics and local situations. Like, you know, there was just going to be a world government. You didn't want to have... It's just too complicated to have 117 nations, each with their own governments, and them having fights and politics with each other and wars and stuff with each other. So he made it a world government. Just simplified things. This story's complicated enough. So he does that, right? So... Then he, he probably has some idea of the journey. Okay, here's some of the milestones. I'm sure he had this figured out before he wrote his first panel. Here's some of the milestones. Here's ways some of the characters are going to converge. Here's some of the character relationships that won't be revealed until later. Luffy has a brother. His father's still out there. His mother is dead, etc. You know, so he had these things figured out. But what's the one thing he had to have figured out? We this is all speculation. But there is one thing he has to have figured out before he put his pen on paper for the very first time. What the one piece is. What is the ultimate destination? There is no way in effing hell he didn't know the destination point. How, what we're going to arrive to, what the One Piece is, and why do they want it, and what will it mean. He knew that before he penned his first drawing. I'm convinced of it. He knew this. So, I think the story has changed. You know, I'm, I'm confident the story was inspired by Journey to the West, among other things. Right? There was other inspirations, but that was one of them. So, I can see... Journey to the West inspiring the ending because that was all happening at the same time. Now, five years on, 10 years on, 15 years on, he's he's diverged pretty far from Journey to the West. He could at that point be like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that ending anymore. But I think he, that is if he hadn't figured out what the ending was. But he has figured out what the ending is, right? He knew what the ending was before he started. So that's locked in and that was inspired back when he was first inspired, right? So what I'm saying is, while character journeys and characterization could deviate greatly from Journey to the West, and they have, as far as I'm concerned, the end point, where the story ends up, what the One Piece is, that inspiration is locked in because he had already decided what it was before he started. This, this is all speculation, but this is what I believe. So that being the case, I think the One Piece is knowledge of some sort. It's knowledge. Now, I don't know if that means knowledge of what the world is, what this missing period of history, where we came from. Maybe the revelation will be this world is our world in the future, like there was a nuclear war. And this is actually our world, and somehow the world changed, or there was some magic spell was cast that changed the world. I don't know, but some earth-shattering, literally and figuratively, knowledge is the one piece. I think that changes people's lives and changes how they look at the world and how they look at things. That's what I think is happening here. That's what I think the one piece is. 35% into the story. I think we're about 35% of the story right now at 400. 35% of the story... I think that's my opinion of what the, uh, the one piece is. Does anybody have a, a guess of how long, how many episodes they think will end up? I think we're right at 1100 right now. Do we think the, the anime series will end around 1200? 
If so, then we really are at the third point. We're one third of the way through the series. Let me know if anybody, or if this has been stated, what they think it'll be. You know, 1,200 sounds about right. They're just at 1,100 right now. So, all right. Well, I'm at 400. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. You know where we are. And you know where we're going. Three, two, one. <laughs> Don't make yourself big. <laughs> Actually, no, do. I like it. I like that he's able to match Luffy's giant hand with that metal hand. That's pretty badass. I mean, come on. That is awesome. <laughs> he is running, man. Yep, wrecked. Nope. Wrecked. Man, he got some nails shot into him. Tell you, man. Is that just what he hears? I think so. Oh, dude. Jesus. <sighs> Why does he have to ruin everything? <laughs> awesome. Quit winking. Yeah. Like I said. Hey. I took it from him. Oh, it's a clamshell. Look at that. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> she has a clamshell backpack. I'm into it. <laughs> Good shit. I'm going to miss those planes. <laughs> yeah, don't try to make fetch happen. Yeah. Octopops is pretty messed up, ain't he? Yeah, it's been six months. In two weeks? Yeah. It wasn't really ready for you. He is messed up, man. <laughs> she didn't notice his corpse on the back of her man? Like, what? Yeah. We're getting to it. Let's get some tea. <laughs> <laughs> You're goddamn right. Vice Captain. I guess that's better than Second Command, huh? First Mate or something. <laughs> you know Usopp's going to want to be a Vice Captain now. <laughs> yeah, so the rest of the details didn't matter. <laughs> Hilarious. I had never heard of it. They should have dropped it some, but they probably did. I, I, just, I don't remember it. Yeah, because you're really old. I guess uh, Brooke was back from that time. I never thought about that. 50 years. 50 years. I never thought about that. He was back in that time. Holy shit. Nice. Good shit. <laughs> Luffy's stuff in his face. Twenty-two years ago. Hey, man, they couldn't catch me. Apparently not. Yeah. Speak, old man. Come on, we ain't got all day. If you're gonna be old, be fast. That's what I feel. That's how I feel about things. Oh, shit, really? No shit. No way. I'm sure they did. PR, right? That is interesting. I'm here for all this. Might as well die, I guess, huh? That's weird. Oh, boy, that makes everything make sense. Shit. Yeah, I totally understand. 
So he wanted to make a point. He wanted to make a public spectacle of himself. Interesting. Nice. Chopper should worship him instead of Hogback. I <laughs> <He> conquered it. <laughs> I took that. <laughs> Yeah, look at Luffy. <laughs> you don't even want to eat anymore. Wait, you know him? Oh, right. Jesus, I didn't make the connection. I didn't make the effing connection. That old man? Holy shit. I don't remember doing that. He, they even said Lighthouse Keeper. I didn't make the connection. I'm telling you, man. There's just too many damn episodes. Too many characters. Yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> don't don't make me cry again. Get your face out of my face. Nice. <laughs> well, he's a long way away, so. Because he conquered the Grand Line. Right. That makes sense. You just know the pirate back then. Right. I think by the time Luffy gets to be called King of the Pirates, he won't care either. He cares now, but he won't care then. <laughs> he does seem like an extra person, if you know what I mean. I bet he could kick ass. He planned it all out. That's why he wanted to make a public spectacle. Everybody would hear his words. <laughs> right. We will run into some of them, I'm sure. Will you finish eating that? It doesn't look good, dude. <laughs> he knew that would happen. Right. He knew this would happen. He knew there'd be a huge crowd, and he knew he was going to make this speech. Brilliant. We've met a couple of them who were there. <laughs> Good shit. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. None of his crew should have. Boy, I like the, the direction of all this. Oh, yeah. Hit, it, hit us with it again. First, give me Crunk. Look at him sitting on him. Ha, ha, ha. Leaning on him. I like it. Ha, ha, ha. Drink that rum. <laughs> the direction of this episode should win awards. It's amazing. He's going to be immortal. And he is. Yeah. <laughs> he had the complete opposite effect. <laughs> exactly like he planned it. Yeah. My treasure is knowledge. Yeah, you goddamn right. He 
He left mortality and stepped into immortality. Infamy. <laughs> yeah, I totally get where he's coming from. There too, yes, can, can relate. Good shit. They got octopops laid out, man. Yeah, again, they know when not to do the shenanigan music. You know what? I love it. The directors, the showrunners never, I don't think they get enough credit. You know, all I hear is people complain about this anime. They may, they do, they, they don't do everything right, but they do a lot of things right. Look at him. Because <laughs> you did. Hell yeah. Again, we forget these are 18, 19 year olds. Maybe a couple of them are 20. They're kids, essentially, you know. Not literally, but essentially. Yep. Get crunk. Now I'm going to go gamble. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's how he knows you. Man, F buggy. Yeah. Man, get him off my goddamn screen. Yeah, I remember they... Yeah. <laughs> Did we know that? I feel like we knew that. I guess we we knew it from Buggy's perspective. We, we didn't know it from Luffy's perspective. <laughs> he lost his str uh, straw hat. <laughs> Just swallow your damn food, you pig. <laughs> That's why he knows about you. <laughs> God damn right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't cry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got to be respectful. Hell yeah. They get me emotional again. You better stop it. Yeah, what is business? Oh, that business. We got money. Yeah. Hell yeah. Look, <laughs> look at Nami's eyes. We got, you got money, Nami. You're a dick. <laughs> What's wrong, Robin? She knows something's up, right? Kiss my ass. <laughs> this knowledge. All right, D. Yeah, what's up? Oh, shit. Ah, Will of D. Give me the knowledge. It's not going to be that easy. The direction of this episode is perfect, even the bubbles. <laughs> but I'm not telling you. <laughs> oh, shit. This is what I thought. Yeah. Flabbergasted. I'm not telling you. Right. O'Hara, huh? I can't keep track of all these damn names. Right. No, I get it. It's about the journey.
interesting. And you don't want to lead the witness. He'd be leading the witness. <laughs> no. It'll be her choice. She'll say no. <laughs> Good. Just tell me one thing. Give me one spoiler. Oh, that O'Hara. Okay. <laughs> We're not historians. <laughs> really. The voice of the universe. The hell does that mean? Interesting. <laughs> I get what he's saying. Just give us one spoiler. That's all I'm asking for. One spoiler. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> you want to find it. This is uh, the author to the fans. Shut up and live the journey. <laughs> Life's about the journey, not the destination. If anybody believes that this author does, this is the author telling the fans to slow their asses down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. See, I have the um, luxury of not being impatient. I'll explain that at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about ruling, it's about... The being a badass. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Me too. See, he can remember shit, Zorro. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Splitting up again, I see. As per usual. You better have somebody who knows how to get there with you. <laughs> there it is, yeah, okay. Break it up. Right. He is a little notorious. Three days, huh? That's going to be about 30 episodes. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, I guess I hadn't realized how tall Brook is. He is tall as hell. Good shit. Yeah, get some snorkels. <laughs> I almost forgot about crying starfish. What if Nami forgives him? <laughs> I love Chopper when he's intense. Yeah, he didn't call her Granny. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> this is a pretty big episode. They must have known it was episode 400. Sometimes a numbering system can get wonky in a long series, you know. There'll be an episode that, that gets lost or something that throws off the numbering. Oh, shit. Jesus. This son bitch is riding a cannonball. Now that's an entrance. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess you have. 
Elvis ass. <laughs> wow, what an amazing episode. This lived up to its number. It really did. I, I'm obsessed with numbers. It doesn't matter. Is there any difference between 399 and 401? No. In 400? No, there, there isn't. But I'm obsessed with human beings in general like round numbers. Come on. The year 2000 was a big deal. The year 3000 would be a big deal for whatever exists, right? Yeah. But great episode. It lives up to its number. And it's definitely like, um, because there's so many episodes, I only have so many hard drive space. Each one of these uh, video files takes about 1.2 gigs, something like that. So 100 episodes, you're already up to 100 gigs. More than that, really. Like 120 gigs, something like that. So you can't keep it all. So I delete most of these episodes after I watch them. But there's a certain number of them that I keep as a little cache, right? Like I have a little cache folder. The important episodes I want to go back to and check out, right? This is definitely going in there. This is something I'm going to rewatch again before I theorize some more. But here's the thing. Well, this is what I was going to tell you about. I have the luxury of being patient for answers because I know I started this in what? March? Started this journey in March. Probably March of 2025 is I'll be caught up most likely. I don't know if when I, when I get close, I may stop. You know, I don't know. But I'll pretty much have watched everything you've seen within another, a little more than a year, right? Because there's only so much time today. If I wanted to binge it, I could probably get up to 1100 in a month. Most likely if I was just like, pff, all I was doing was watch it, right? Because it's stacked up. But watching this week to week, I imagine it'd be frustrating. You want these answers and you've been watching for 20 years. Imagine 20 years trying to get answers. That's a long effing time. People bitched and whined and moaned and complained about answers that took six years on Lost. Some of these people are waiting 20 years for some of these answers. So uh, an episode like this would be extremely frustrating. I wouldn't be shocked if this episode has a low rating because it's like, well, it's just, it's contrived. Here's your answer. You know, like a loss, speaking of loss, like a character would have answers, but then they would have amnesia so they couldn't tell you the answers. Or they'd get inter interrupted. They're about to tell you an answer and they get interrupted and the people are fired at and you got to run away. The writers arrange that. If you and I are standing talking and somebody fires us, nobody arranged that. That's fate. Okay, whatever. But the writers arranged when the attack would happen to keep information from the audience. The writers here arrange him to offer you information and you to say no. You, Robin and Luffy, say no so that you, the audience wouldn't have information yet this far back. This episode came out, what, 2008, 2009? You know? 14 years ago? Like, you know, people have had these answers for 14 years if, if uh, Silver had answered these questions in this episode. So the writer arranged things for people to say no, but here's the thing. I would feel that way if I'm watching week to week and I'm waiting waiting 14 years for answers. It would be frustrating. I have to admit it. The fact that I don't, I could just keep watching and blast through all these and get to episode 600 and the answers and episode 700 and all that crap if I wanted to. That I could. Or that I could look up answers online if I want to. That is there for me. It's available. Makes me patient. Because this ain't, you know, Song of Ice and Fire where George R. R. Martin is never going to write the last two or three books. You know, where we'll never get the answers to the questions. We will never. That would be frustrating. The answers are there. Even if, God forbid, the writer drops dead tomorrow. The answers are in his notes somewhere, I'm sure. He's probably told people, right? Like, there, there's something. He wouldn't He wouldn't do that to his fans. He, he probably has the ending in written form for somebody to finish. Somebody else to come in and finish or whatever. Just be released to the fans for their two decades of loyalty. Like, I feel pretty good about that. Like, that would happen. So, I can be patient, you know? It does, and, and here, okay, so having said all that, it's also not contrived in universe. Here's the thing you can tell somebody the answer to the question, and they won't understand because they don't have the context to understand it, right? Like, there are answers, and I'd love to give it concrete examples because I don't like just being generalities. But I don't, but maybe you haven't seen Lost, so I don't want to spoil it for you. But let me see. Let's do something I, like I'm pretty confident everybody has seen. Okay, um, Wizard of Oz. Let's do Wizard of Oz. Let's say at the beginning of the movie, you tell people that Dorothy is just going to have a, what she thinks is a dream. It may be a dream, it may not be a dream, and the wizard is fake, okay? You tell her that at the beginning. You tell the audience that at the beginning. They're not going to be able to appreciate that information because they didn't go through the journey. It's only when you go through the journey of the movie that you can appreciate the wizard is fake and what that actually means and Dorothy's journey 
what she went through and what that means. Even if it was just a dream, which they tacked on at the end, that, that's not, that was not the case in the book, apparently. Uh, she actually went there in the book. But Hollywood, you know, uh, audiences don't like fantasy, so we have to say it was a dream, right? Even if it was a dream, the experience changed her. When she woke up, she was a different person. She was a more free person. She was, you know, look at how sad she was at the beginning of the movie compared to how she was at the end of the movie. You know, she, has, she changed. The journey changed her, not the knowledge. You need to go through the journey to understand. Like, you, like Summer said, you may come up to it with a different answer. You go through the same shit, see the same shit, come up with a different answer. But if he tells you something, the butler did it. Well, maybe the butler didn't do it. It just looked like he did. But you saying it, you're not going to look at anything but the butler. So then you're just looking at the butler and you miss the fact that the maid did it, right? Like, to me, that makes perfect sense. Like, you know, you have to go through the journey to find out. And Luffy's rationale is just his personality. See, see, Robin's rationale is logical. And what Silver said to her is logical. She shouldn't have the answers because it could change the answers. It could change the context. She could come away from it. And she could have come up with a different, a better answer than he did. So him just saying to her could literally ruin it. That is, that's objectively true, I believe. Luffy is just characterization. It doesn't diminish your experience if you get the answers, but <laughs> like he just he's an idiot, right? Like he wants the adventure and he wants to you know, he doesn't he's the person that wants to read the book and not have the book spoiled to him. So I guess I do understand, like if you're gonna pick up a book, oh by the way, you know the butler did it. Well, hell, I'm no point in reading this now. That's Luffy. That's me in, in books too. I don't want to be spoiled. But you can still have your adventures, man. Like, if he tells you what the One Piece is or that it exists or whether or not it exists, that's not going to ruin your adventure, man. Like, that is objectively not true. That's ridiculous. That's silly. But it matches his characterization. It's perfectly in tune with his characterization. That matches it. So it makes sense. So we buy it. So it's not contrived. It sure as hell is convenient for the author who doesn't want to tell us yet. The author doesn't want to tell us. So it's convenient, but it's not contrived. You see the difference? There's a difference between convenient and contrived. This is convenient, but it's not contrived. That's just how I see it. I imagine, I don't know, but I imagine fans were pissed at the time. Though. Like, they probably didn't know how many years ahead they had, but they knew, they knew how many years they had gone in the story so far. And they knew they had a lot of years left. So they must have been pretty damn frustrated. Not even the anime, just reading the manga, they were probably frustrated too, I imagine. Because the same thing, they knew like how much more was to come. You know? So yeah, uh, you know, great episode.